Hello and Namaste. In continuation with the linear programming problems, uh, we are dealing here with the duality in linear programming. Uh, after the detailed discussion between the relationship between the uh, the dual and the sim primal simplex table, uh, we can go ahead and solve the LPP using the principle of duality. It's same as that of solving the question uh, might be from the simplex table or might be from the big M method. It is completely depending upon what the primal has been given, whether it is converting, getting convert into the simplex table or simplex problem or whether it is uh, uh, getting introduced with the artificial variables. If we are, we are coming into the or encountering with the artificial variables, this particular duality or this particular LPP will, will be converting into the big M method or otherwise it will be getting getting solved using the simple simplex table. So now in this case uh, using duality solve the following uh, problem minimize z equals to 0 0.7 x1 plus 0 0.5 x2 subject to the constraint 1, 2, 3, 4. If you will observe the question has been given to us as a minimization and all the constraints are already placed in the greater than equals to constraints. Of course there is a non-negativity constraints here also which is x1 x2 greater than equals to 0. Now this is we need to solve it using the duality that means we have to convert this uh, question into the dual first. Now the dual of this particular primal or the particular primal whenever the question has been given to you that's known as the primal that is already I have told you before please do follow the i button to reach the different um, uh, the differentiations on the duality of the or dual of the LPP that would give you the clear idea how to approach for this kind of questions. Now this is min so it's max z dash 4y1 plus because we have 1, 2, 3, 4 constraints so 1, 2, 3 y1, y2, y3, y4 would be the 4 uh, variables would be getting used over here. You can e able to check from the i button how to write down the dual of this particular question. I am not spending much more time on this to explain you how to uh, write down the prime uh, the dual from the primal question because that is already we have uh, dedicated two to three sessions based on this duality now i'm concentrating here how to solve about this now after solving after getting the dual of this particular question we have to convert this dual into the standard form after converting this dual into the standard form we'll be getting this one two three four after getting this will be uh, we'll have to find out the initial basic solution how to get that again my my suggestion for you is please do follow i button then it is nothing but non-basic variables y1, y2, y3, y4. We have to introduce them as 0. Then we will be getting s1 as 0.7, s2 as 0.5. Moving ahead, this is purposely I have kept it so that I can fill it up this particular table. This table, if you will observe the cj, cj is nothing but 4, 6, 20, 18, 0, 0. As we have got this question already, the primal was of minimization dual we have got it as maximization now it's already in the maximization we need not to make it as the maximization so we are taking the same variables or same coefficients over here 4 6 20 18 0 0 as i have told you s1 s2 is getting added over here the first and the second constraint respectively so this is what is the initial table is getting formed over here the first constraint can be transferred to the table as 1 0 1 2 1 0 RH is as 0 0.7 over here. Second constraint is 0 1 2 1 0 1 and this is 0 0.5. Then we need to calculate CJ minus ZJs the same way what we have done in the last case. I am directly putting it here now. 4 6 20 18 0 0 and Z dash in this case is coming out to be 0 because s1 and s2 we are having the coefficients as 0 over here that's the reasons obviously the the first step or the initial step z dash so or, or z max is coming out to be 0 now the biggest or biggest positive cj minus zj is this which is corresponding to this y3 over here that means just a minute i'll just make it little bigger so that it will be clearly visible to you all so this is pivot column which would be the pivot row we need to calculate from this ratio which is 0 0.7 upon 1 that is 0 0.7 then 0 0.5 upon 2 that is coming out to be that is 0 0.5 upon 2 which is 0 0.25. 
सो मिनिमम रेशियो ऑन दिस केस इज पॉइंट सेवन एंड पॉइंट टू फाइव मिनिमम इज जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव दैट इज द रीजन दिस सेकेंड रो इज कमिंग आउट टू बी द पी वोट रो दिस इज कमिंग आउट टू बी द पी वोट रो एंड हेंस दिस टू इज कमिंग आउट टू बी द पी वोट कॉलम और की कॉलम Moving ahead, this is what the last table we have got it here, which we have entered as Y three as entered and S two uh, exit for the basis. That's the reason. Check this out. Y three I have written in place of S two. Again, moving ahead, this is a pivot column, a pivot element. That's the reason this has to be one to make this one entire second uh, row of that means it is R two old is getting divided throughout by two. That is zero. One by two, it's one. One by two, zero. One by two, and it is coming out to be zero point two five. Then moving ahead, we need to convert this one zero using this one. So we need to convert this one zero using this one. This is the element of R one old, and this is the element. This one is the element of R one. Sorry, R two new. so the transformation work over here would be r1 old minus r2 new because of this transformation we'll be getting this particular uh, elements as 1 minus 1 by 2 0 3 by 2 1 minus 1 by 2 0.45 and then we have to calculate all cj minus zjs The same way, I'm not spending time over here. I'm I'm uh, uh, putting a concentration on the other concept. Please follow the concept of how to get the simplex table or how to solve this simplex table uh, with uh, with the previous examples or previous sessions. Therefore, if you observe the biggest over here is this eight, which is corresponding to the y four variable. That is, this is coming in to the basis. Which variable is leaving? That is getting decided by ratio. That is zero point four five divided by three by two, which is coming out to be point three. Then zero point two five divided by one by two, which is coming out to be zero point five. The minimum of them is zero point three. That means this S one variable is getting into the basis in place of. Sorry, S one is leaving the basis. And uh, S Y four is getting into the basis, and this three by two is coming out to be the pivot of pivot element of this particular uh, first iteration. Moving ahead, okay, that means we have the, so this S one is getting replaced here by Y four in the next session or next uh, uh, iteration. So this was the first iteration which we have got it here. This was the pivot. Okay, so this is the first iteration which we have kept it for our reference, and we are dealing here with the second. Three by two is the pivot element or pivot key element. S one is getting replaced by Y four. That is what we have we have done it over here. S four S one is getting replaced as Y four. Corresponding elements, corresponding CBs will also change it eighteen and twenty for Y four and Y three respectively. Now this three by two we have to divide this first row first row by three by two throughout. That will gives us two by three minus one by three zero one two by three minus one by three and this is zero point three. Again, this one by two needs to be zero using this one, which is the element of R one new, and this one by two is the element of R two old. Therefore, the transformation will go as R two old. Minus because R two old we have got the element as one by two in R one new we have got the element as one so that is the reason I have I should have one by two minus one by two over here so transformation becomes here R one new so R two old minus one by two times R one new would be the transformation for this second row to convert as so if you observe here in this table in this table we will be getting the entries as Will be getting the entries as minus one by three, two by three, one zero, minus one by three, two by three, zero point one. And if you observe the CJ minus ZJ, all of them would come out to be like this, which is sixteen minus sixteen by three, minus twenty two by three, 
and this z dash is coming out to be 7.4 now if you observe all the cj minus zjs are coming out to be negative or zeros that means cj minus zj is less than or equals to zero that means negative or zero we need to stop the simplex algorithm over here that means we have received our answer or optimal solution at this second iteration what is the answer over here is y1 is equals to 0 because there is no y1 present here in the basis same with y2 y2 is, is coming out to be 0 again because there is no y2 y3 is equals to 0.1 if you will observe here from this y4 is equals to 0.3 and sorry 0.3 and z max or you can say z dash is equals to 7.4 so this is what we have got the set of answers let me take you to the next which is what this is the in in uh, short three three, uh, three of them iterations i have kept it in one slide so that you can compare it at any time z dash is 7.4 we have dealt here with the maximization question and that's the reason it's 7.4 but if we have we have to give the the solution for this particular session we can go ahead and uh, uh, check this as z min z min is for the primal would be minus 7.4 so this is what is the answer or you can check it the answer over here for this particular question now uh, this is a favorite of mine which is a self observation slide two questions and the answers along with them has been given to you here please do solve if you have any query let me ask in the comment section i'll be happy to give you and address those answers thank you happy learning